This is a calcium score case. We are doing a lot of these. They have a strong correlation with the amount of coronary artery calcium to the amount of soft plaque, which can influence therapeutic management for patients. These are fabulous. With the amount of uh, cardiac medications available, such as our statins and lower cholesterol medications, this could inf influence treatment on patients. I'm seeing some patients get these in their 40s. Usually we're seeing people about their early 50s try to get these because then you could see some therapeutic benefit of going on the medication uh, and preventing extra coronary artery disease developing and risking the heart attack. Here I wanted to show you how this uh, system works. This is all um, done with the computer. As you can see, here's the images of the coronary arteries. Now I can select up on my system as far as which artery I'm doing, and then I will circle that. It will mark this, in this case, blue, because this is for the left main coronary artery here, correct? And then as we split off here, you can see this bifurcation. This is where you get into that circumflex, the left anterior descending coronary artery, the so-called widow maker. Um, so the, the important thing is that the radiologist must go ahead and identify the appropriate coronary anatomy and then you can select um, on the algorithm for it to score the vessel. So as you can see that changed to red because I selected the LAD for scoring. Here we're going to get into the circumflex which is yellow, probably going to be a little bit difficult to see. But as you can see here I'm just selecting those vessels so it will make sure it marks it. I highlight it, anything that's within my red circle that I put in there that um, uh, is bright or white within that field and picks up to the relative level, it will score that as positive being for calcium. And the amount of density correlates to the amount of calcium volume. Okay, last one, we're gonna go over here and look at the right coronary artery here, right at the osteo, there's a little bit of calcification here. Uh, so we're gonna get those, score this, and see what our total shows for this patient so we can give them an accurate coronary calcium scoring assessment. So I'm going to check the preview on this report. Here's what we have. You can see here's the values of the total calcium. I can do a preview on this report and I'll bring that into the field for you. Here you can see that this totally gives a total calcium score of 202.9 for that patient with a uh, risk at 50 percentile for the patient's same age and gender if they have those uh, statistics available, those are supplied. So just for all you people out there getting a coronary uh, calcium score, this is how we're doing it. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye.